guys and welcome back to a new video and hello from me and Hugo and today I am finally packing for my hen do so the suitcase is over there the landing looks like a bomb has gone off so I've brought Hugo's bed for him to sit in here and watch me are you gonna sit here and watch me or are you gonna snort throughout the whole of this video it's been very very clingy today I've brought your bed in so you can lie on your bed so I thought I'd film a pack with me style video so I am off to Paris tomorrow so we're going down Thursday evening staying over because we're getting the Euro star early in the morning it's currently train strike so I'm a little bit stressed about that but we're going down Thursday which isn't a train strike and my friend said that the Euro star isn't affected by the train strike so I'm praying praying that we get there all okay half of my hen group are flying and then some of us are getting the Eurostar because my mom can't fly so we're all going down on the Eurostar got some Prosecco at the ready all very excited I actually don't know anything I don't know what we're doing and um, my maid of honour has organised absolutely everything which is just incredible um, I need to be added into the group chat now actually because I feel like I've not been in the group chat so I don't know what's been going on I've literally just been told to bring Prosecco myself my passport these are the Eurostar times and then to wear white on Saturday night and obviously comfy shoes which is fine so I've got my all white outfit I had a little bit of panic about that I've got two boxes there because basically um you know when I did a um, pack with me for New York and for my 30th birthday I wore a really beautiful black jumpsuit with a brand Nadine Marabi I think it's pronounced um they're just a stunning brand especially for bridal they have so many gorgeous pieces I spotted this gorgeous jumpsuit and they kindly sent it I wasn't sure on my size so I went for a small medium but then it was too big so I tried it on I was like oh my god it's too big and I've literally been waiting for the front door and it's literally about 10 minutes ago it's just arrived so thank god I've checked it all got it all out it's all fine they took my measurements for me and everything so yeah oh my god Hugo you have been very very clingy I think he's he's in the suitcase oh no mommy's going away oh no he proper missed Russ when Russ went on his stag do. Like, he missed him so much. He was so sad. And now I've got the suitcase out. Oh, don't get all anxious. It's okay. Mummy's... Oh, your breath smells very bad. Mummy's ordered you a nice new toothbrush. Because, whew, you have very... Sick. Oh, careful. You have very... Oh, my life. I know. Mummy's going on her hen do. She's going on her hen do. I'm only there for a weekend. Oh, look at that side eye. <laughs> Are you going to be sulking? Are you going to help mommy pack a suitcase? He literally hates a suitcase. I'm completely thrown off what I was saying now. But yeah, so that was a whole panic, but the jumpsuit's here now. It's arrived. I did order a other option, um, which was potential for maybe my wedding night because I have my wedding dress and I absolutely love it, but I wanted to see whether I have an option for the night time because basically I'll probably want to move around and dance a lot more. So I didn't actually get like an evening, evening wedding dress. Um, so I have another option. So I'm so glad that they've both arrived. So yeah, that was a little bit stressful, a bit of a panic because I had no plan B. I ordered another dress just to in case the jumpsuit never arrived um so i'll try that on with you as well so yeah we're ready to get packing here you go clearly just wants to have a cuddle and sleep right so i'm just going to pop you on there on my tripod i'm just going to open the curtain i think the light looks okay i don't want really to get my ring light out um but i'm just slowly like pulling things together i sort of figured out what i wanted to like to wear basically we're traveling down to on thursday so i'm just going to wear literally i'm taking my gray another stories coat because it just goes with everything and i absolutely love it and then i'm going to take my white naked trousers and my black converse i'll try on all these outfits in a second i'm just sort of trying to roughly pull things together and i think i'll probably do like an all gray and white look with my converse and i'm also going to take this t-shirt to go with it maybe to travel down in so i can then mix and match i also ordered this white brolly it's from h&m and i thought of paris it looked really nice um, so that can go with that and then for the Friday night I think the vibe is sort of like very dressy a nice meal so I'm going to wear what I wore for my date night like last week me and us went out for our anniversary and we don't sort of like get dressed up on date night very often so we haven't done it for absolutely ages so I thought I'm going to take this little corset top with me it's from Naked I do have a discount code as well um, which is valid till the 7th of February so it should still be live when this video goes live so I'll link it below for you but it also comes in white so 
so I got this in a size 36 it just looks so nice on I'm then going to wear my Frankie Shop blazer over the top and my faux leather wallet trousers from H&M so they're currently downstairs on the area because I had to wash um, my leggings both my leggings my Topshop ones and my leather ones just to make them feel a bit fresher because I literally don't really wash my leather trousers very often so I thought I'm going to freshen them up I'm just going to pull this curtain too because the sun has decided to come right out Hugo's moved now he's gone on the landing he's very unsettled now he's in the suitcase but for then this is obviously potential outfits then for the daytime so daytime i've got this outfit which i can mix and match with i'm also going to take my gorgeous shielding jacket from mango to wear because i mean very parisian very chic i knew as soon as i got this jacket i was taking it with me on my hendu i'm going to wear a black roll neck underneath with my top shot further leggings and my black boots i'm also going to pack as well a long sleeve basic so this one is from naked i've also got my black amazon fashion leggings which are super soft so it does get really cold because the weather keeps saying like literally like one two degrees we went to new york in march and oh my god so glad that i took my thermals i actually took my gymshark thermals because it was minus six like every single day and when i did my pack with me it was literally like saying it was gonna be like 10 degrees like really mild and we got there and literally the weather changed completely so i always 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 just take like a base layer whenever i go on a city break also for the shoes for the friday night i'm gonna take these which are from h and they're like a really nice mesh shoe they look so nice on i'm also torn with which bag to take with me for the date night look i don't know whether to take this little one from mango or potentially this one from naked because i'm thinking this has a zip on it's a bit more secure and then for my daytime bag i'm taking my trusty Pauline palace bag because when i went to paris last time i unfortunately got pickpocketed on the metro and um, i had my chloe bag my little chloe test bag and the, the class one is so strong and she got my purse out on the tube they just basically confuse you um so if you watch my paris vlog you would have seen that but luckily someone like a local spotted um that what they were doing to me so they're like check your pockets watch your bags and then she gave me my purse back um so thank god those locals did so we literally put in the group as well to make sure you have a bag that's like got a fasting on because honestly after that experience i am like so vigilant when it comes to my belongings so i thought i'm going to take this as well i'm not taking any of my luxury bags i feel like that's probably why they clocked me last time like i had my gucci sunglasses on i had been shopping i had a couple of polling bags i think i come from a meeting actually with polling so i had some carrier bags so i was pretty full and i had my chloe bag as well so i would felt like i just stood out um but this is the polling i can't remember the model of it but i'll link it down below for you i took this to new york as well i think i feel like it's still got stuff in here from new york i know actually haven't used this since new york but it's a really really great bag and get loads in it you know, my purse in it and i can love as well that i can wear it like just sits cross body and just sits really nice i can literally just like hold it flat so yeah i know where my stuff is i'm just gonna pop you on there the sun is beaming in here this afternoon so i thought i'd show you my first piece from nadine and maybe they all come as well with the dust bags um so this is one option so i've got two options to go with so obviously i'll try them on and you can see what you guys think but i ordered this dress it's known as the katie dress and i just saw the feathers and i was like oh my god where it looks absolutely insane it's a midi style dress it's very like very very fitted so i ordered this in the size small and it has like a zip down the back and as you can see the texture is just absolutely beautiful no you can leave the feathers monkey so that's the first option then the jumpsuit is in this one and oh my god he literally just looks amazing so there's another dust bag with this it's also a belt for the middle and then this is the jumpsuit oh my god it's so beautiful oh it just looks amazing i feel like as well it's really practical because it's going to be quite cold in the evening time mm -hmm. I can then wear this as you can see it has these gorgeous sequins these feather cuffs and then like a really nice it's more like a really nice crepe material i've also ordered some seam free like no pant line pants from amazon which i'll show you then because whenever you style stuff like this i'm always like i need the perfect pair of pants to go underneath that are sort of like supportive as well um so yeah i'll try this on for you oh my god this jumpsuit was so worth the wait it looks absolutely insane on just look at the fit of it i mean it looks absolutely incredible i can't like zip it all the way up. i'm gonna need help getting into it but 
Oh my god, I love the belt detail, I love all the jewels, the feathers, it definitely screams hen party, wedding, and the length is a bang on. So this is the so small, but I did send them like my exact um, hip and waist measurements, because I have a bigger bust than I have a super small um, waist, but I'm not really, I'm five foot six, so some of them are quite long, so yeah, it fits me. <laughs> like an absolute glove. Now I've just styled it with these shoes. They're just from June London. I've had them for ages, but I think they tie in really nicely because of like the mesh detail on here. I mean, just look at it like sparkling all in the light. Oh my God. I absolutely love it so much. Then this is the dress that was the other option. I was thinking of potentially like wearing this for my wedding night, but I feel like my but basically my wedding dress is quite fitted and I was gonna wear the same dress like all down. I'm just gonna see how I feel. But I thought after oh, the night time it'd be nice to have like a party dress. But like for me, like this is still like quite like restrictive so I feel like I'm gonna wear the jumpsuit on my hair get it dry cleaned and take it with me when we get married so if I do want to change out of my wedding dress into something a bit more comfier and into the jumpsuit where I can move around a bit more I will so it's a good option but this is so nice it's called the Katie dress um I love the feathers it looks amazing but it is like very very snug very fitted but the quality is absolutely insane so if any of you guys are future brides then highly recommend because wow the quality is amazing this was in the sale as well they also kindly sent me these pajamas which are just beautiful I think I'm going to wear these on the morning of my wedding when I'm getting married um it has literally the matching so my daily sleeper set is like more like um I'd say it's like a normal cotton fabric but this, as you can see, is more like satin the sheen. And I really love the pearl buttons. And then it has little pockets on. There's also, as well, feathers on the ankles of the trousers, which look amazing. But yeah, this is silk as well. I just love the cuffs. So this is the size small, medium in these. The bottoms are a little bit big, but the top fits really nice. But the bottoms come with a drawstring anyway, so I can just tighten them. But it fits like really nice on the top. So yeah, they do these sets, I think, in other colours as well. I've seen a really nice like pale pink one, which would be really nice potentially for my bridesmaids. But yeah, so stunning. So I just packed those both away in the boxes there. I don't know whether to take the box in my case. I'm taking a bigger case. So I have some gifts like for my hen party, which I'll show you in a second. But I thought I'd just quickly run through the outfits that I hung up here. Here. so this is going to be my friday night outfit so this is the frankie shop blazer which i got from farfetch i do have a code for them i got it in the size small as you can see it is a very oversized fit but i just love the frankie shop blazers and i've got the little corset on underneath from naked my ysl belt these are further trousers which are finally dry now because i literally panicked and washed them you guys just come running in to say hello so this is the first option for the bag i really like it it's from mango and i really like the chain detail hold on it's all a little bit chaotic apologies guys so the first option is this little bag it is my mango one with the feathers he goes come in to he's playing me off he's literally playing me off um so i really like this because it's got the gold chain on which i think goes nicely with my ysl belt and also my gold jewelry but i could also probably wear this like crossbody or there's this bag from nike it looks quite nice like styled like on my arm and i could probably as well just like hold it like here it's like a clutch bag as well and my belongings are more secure in this because it's got a zip on um so yeah i literally i might just take both because i don't take much room and then just see i feel like my mom will be like take a bag with a zip on i know what she's gonna be like bless her um Oh, I can't decide. But yeah, let me know which bag, either this one or the mango one. And then this is a daytime eighth. I think I'm going to travel down in this tomorrow. Um, I do have like another striped sweater and I have a roll neck as well, which I can swap out. So I tend to sort of like put in like fresh t-shirts. Like I'll wear the same trousers and I'll probably travel like there, wear these and probably potentially travel back in them because they're my favorite. These ones are just from Naked. I also have the black versions now. Um, but they're literally my favorite, like most worn pair of white trousers. Um, but I thought keeping it in like with the theme as well, like bright to be wearing white and going to Paris, you guys know my style is very Parisian chic. Um, and this is like my favourite wool coat. I think I'm going to wear this as well, probably on the evening time when I wear my all white outfit, just so I can like fully like wrap everything up to protect that jumpsuit. 
Um, but yeah, I'm taking my Converse as well, so I'm super comfy. I always take trainers with me whenever I go to a city. And as you can see, I'll literally just wear like this roll neck underneath um, with the all white. I think I posted this outfit actually on my Instagram already. And I'll put a little picture on, but I really love this roll neck. It's from Amazon, super comfy, really nice quality. And I also have it in camel and black. Also, if I wanted to, I could wear these further trays with my Converse with the roll neck or the t-shirt. That's why I sort of like wearing like packing things that I can wear for the night time but I can also mix and match them for the day so if it is like raining or whatnot I don't want to get my white trousers dirty then I have these as I back up then this is another outfit for the day so these are my top shot leggings which are fully dried off now this roll neck isn't my Amazon one it's from Hob London the quality is so nice and then this is the famous shilling jacket from Mango I'm going to take my YSL sunnies as well to start to throw them on my head and then I'm wearing my H&M Trusty boots. I'll just pack some like really thick socks just so my feet are nice and toasty. I'm gonna pack these leather gloves as well. I got these, I think these are also from Amazon actually, but I thought they'd go nice with all of these outfits, but I'll keep my hands nice and warm. Please ignore the state of the bed. I'm gonna take this jumpsuit as well for my friend. It's the one I wore in New York. She doesn't wear that on the Saturday night. These are the seam free pants that I got, they're literally just off Amazon. Um, they're really nice. I mean, they look like Bridget Jones's pants, but they're high waisted and you don't get like any pant line at all. Especially when you're wearing like a really tight fitted jumpsuit. But I thought I'd go for nude pants rather than white because sometimes white ones really stand out. He goes literally just dying to get on the bed and have a cuddle. I know we'll get on there in a minute, monkey. Let mommy finish off filming this and we can have a cuddle on the bed while I edit it. I know, nearly there. Also, how nice this bag that I picked up from Primark the other day. You can't really see, I mean, ignore the mess. But it's really nice. I'm thinking this would make actually a really nice like travel bag for the way down because it means I can put the Prosecco in it so I've got lots of room for that so I'll show you the bits that I've got to give to my hens so these two bags are for my bridesmaids they're from Joma Jewelry if you follow me on Instagram you've seen that I worked on a campaign with them and they do honestly the nicest like little bridal gift but not just bridal like anything like birthdays special occasions like really nice personal things and I just wanted something to give to everybody as a thank you for obviously making an effort and coming on my hen do so I got these little personalised bits done so they kindly sent me this as well for them which is so kind so these little bags for my mum so it says katie's bridal party you can literally personalize everything and it's basically just got like a little bracelet in so the one for my mum is a bit different um it comes in like a little box which is really nice and then literally just has a little bracelet in which says like thank you for like coming on my hen do and sort of like team bride which I thought was like really special and just really simple and then Joma Jewelry put everyone's names on these little bags and they've all got little matching bracelets so I'll show you this little one it basically just says like team bride with everyone's name on so yeah everyone's got one of those with their names on which I thought were really nice to give to everybody and these are the PJs that I got for everybody so I have the pink ones for my hens both from H&M and I ordered myself a white pair so with a black pipe in detail. The quality is just so nice and they've got loads of really, really nice like Valentine's pyjamas. I just thought, well, my hen do, this would be really nice to give everyone. I have ordered some like nice gift bags from Amazon, which I think are coming later on today. So I'm going to sort of take them with me. I've got some tissue paper as well. I'm going to wrap everything up and get some little chocolates to go in the bags and give them to everybody while I'm there. And then I've got a little fun thing. I think my maid of honor is also doing stuff with my bridesmaid. I also ordered these for everybody, which I think looks so funny and so good on Hindus. It's from a brand called, I ordered them from a brand called Princeta. I'm not sure if you've seen, but they're literally like Hindu masks. So I literally just found a nice picture of me and Ross and they put the elastic on the back for you. You can either have elastic or like a wooden stick. Sorry, here you go. Um, but yeah, look at the mask. How hilarious. So you can literally just pop the holes out. But I mean, how funny is that going to be? So I thought we'd have some nice pictures and stuff, all wear our masks and just sort of make it fun as well. Um, so yeah, everyone's going to absolutely hail at those masks. And I just need to sort out my makeup and everything now. So whenever I go away, I always take one of these bags. It's from Flatlay London. It's basically so you can just like see 
all your makeup and everything's like held into place like these little pockets on here you can put your brushes in it's a really good way just to store and travel with all your makeup so i'm going to sort that out i also need to sort out my toiletries i've got like loads of minis so i usually take all my little minis or like half empty um like skincare bits and then i'll also pack my dyson hair dryer my bridesmaid has an air wrap so at least obviously there's loads of girls go in so we can sort of like mix and match if someone's forgot something and um, we can borrow it um what else needs to go i need to set my passport um wherever i've put that and then my monzo card whenever i go away i take a monzo card and yeah i've literally just got to pack everything all into my case now <laughs> I'm 90% there now with my suitcase. I just need to have a re-look at all my gifts because as you can see, the box is taking up lots of room, but I don't want to take all the little bags out of the box. I feel like they're all going to get crushed and get ruined, but the box will be ditched literally as soon as we get there. I've also like rolled the pajamas like all in half to make more space. I've just like slotted some shoes in between. I've also grabbed out my antler bag to put my makeup, skincare and all my hair tools in. That bag is honestly so good for traveling. It literally just like clips into the top of my suitcase. Super easy so i've grabbed that for all my makeup bits i have my travel outfit all there ready to go broly isn't going to fit in my suitcase but i thought it would do so i think i've got a smaller one to take with me so i need to find that out and then i need to hang up my jumpsuit i'm not sure if i'm going to have it in the garment bag and just carry it or just fold it neatly and hoping that they have a steamer at the airbnb so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed watching my pack with me for my hendy i'm honestly so so excited you guys know how much i love paris and to be spending it with my loved ones on my hen is just honestly so exciting so yeah i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you have then please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel as well as always thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video mm -hmm.